asked me this morning, Coach, how long have you been doing this? You know, you start thinking, God, but there's a lot of a lot of camps. But I, I think one thing about the camps, it's always this is an exciting time. Uh, everybody's undefeated, everybody's healthy, you know, so you're excited about, you know, getting out there and getting going. And the energy level, I said in the breakfast, I usually I'm one of the first guys in the in the uh, cafeteria and they all come in that first day all bright eyed, bushy tailed and <laughs> I always tell them about five or six days into this, you probably won't be quite so happy. But that's that's camp, that's what it is. And, you know, Coach Loxley's got a you know he got a great camp set up, and the, the schedule's great. It's great for the players. Uh, uh, maybe not great, so great for the coaches. But the players are what's important: keeping them fresh and keeping them rested, and giving them time to, to do what they got to do. So, it's gonna be exciting camp. Obviously, uh, we've got a lot of young, new faces to, to look at, and you know the big thing is to, for us to get them in the right places and, and uh, get them ready to go as soon as we possibly can. So, that I'll take any questions that they might have. Let's start with uh, third row to your right, Dave Preston. Coach, Dave Preston, WTOP Radio. This is kind of a broad brush, big picture thing. You've been in and around the Big Ten for quite some time. In the last 15 years, what have you been, what do you feel have been some of the major fundamental changes in this league from what you've seen style of play? Well, you know, I think football's changed in general, but, but it, you know, everybody, you know, I think offenses have made a lot of a lot of change and put a lot more pressure on the on the defense in terms of what the things that they do and so forth. But I, I think big, I, I think the, the Big Ten has, has become a much more competitive conference. I think the, and I can remember back when I was in Illinois and, and before Maryland and, and Rutgers got into the Big Ten and, you know, Coach Paterno and all those guys talking about, you know, trying to get, you know, this to our footprint to enlarge our footprint. And, and I think it's just, it's been, a, it's been a great conference. It really has. I think you, you look at it as an academic conference. It's a conference that, you know, the one conference that where the, you know, the, the faculty reps, you know, have a lot to say what goes on. And, and uh, so it's just, it's, it's, it's a conference that continues to, to, to get better and better. And I think obviously you, know, you guys and the TV media and so forth with the exposure that you get, you know, all, all the people, uh, it's, it's a conference that's up and coming. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering what's going to happen to the, to the realignment of the conference itself. To your right there, bro, Matt. Hey, Coach. Right here. Okay, middle. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> uh, how important is it for you as a special teams coordinator to try and gauge guys in camp who are like, oh, this could be a good special teams player? How do you go about uh, doing that? Well, I think the one thing, particularly with the new guys, you know, you, you, you want to see, uh, I think the thing you see is, you know, we didn't draw. We didn't sign anybody. I meant to say draft. We didn't draft anybody. We didn't sign anybody to come here to run down on kickoffs and be on the punt team. And you know, but Coach Lossie understands the importance of, of of it. You know, special teams are not important until they're important. Then they're really important. I mean, it's you know the, the fact that you can lose a game like that uh, over one play. Uh, I always tell them you don't get second down. You don't get third down. You get one down. And uh, so you, you're putting them in. You know, if, if you're coaching an offensive back or running back or a tight end or a wide receiver defensive back, you know they've done that. So you know you teach them the scheme, you teach them technique, low te that kind of thing. In many instances, these guys have never covered a kick, or they've never blocked for a punt, or they've never rushed a punt, and, and so you got to teach them the technique. And, and really, it's 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 you know what I've found is actually when I went back to Green Bay, it's it's really that's the truest coaching. You know, you're really teaching them, you know, and that's why you kind of get into coaching is to you know, take a young man and try to help him reach his goals and get to be as good as he can be. Hey, Coach. Uh, Back here, Alex Fung with WDVM. Um, you know, you've been a part of a lot of different teams professionally and college programs as well. Um, what do you think of this program that Coach Loxley has built here and now in his third year, looking like it's going to be his first official full year here now, uh, or second official full year, I guess. Um, you know, but what, what do you think about the program he's built and, and how strong it is and, and what you're seeing from this? Well, time? you know, I had, the, I had the luck of being here the last two years kind of in a different role. So I was able to watch it go, go. And, you know, Coach Locks is <clears throat> in our relationship goes back a long way. And we've been in a very, very similar situation. I remember after the first year uh, uh, playing uh, Penn State and, you know, that what happened with the Penn State. And it was, you know, the same thing that happened to us at Illinois, you know, that, that first year. Uh, it, you know, the problem is uh, what they used to tell me about being patient, I try to tell Coach Locks, but I understand he ain't going to be, is it just, you know, so I understand what, what the feeling is, but I'm excited where we are. I, I don't think there's any question. Uh, you know, obviously it remains to be seen. We got to go out there. We got to do it. Uh, but I, I, the attitude of the football team, the way they've worked this summer, the way they're around here, they're they're always you know, around the offices. They're always around here. Uh, you know, it's just it's a it's a it's a fun feeling. And, and uh, you know, obviously we got to go do it. We got to go prove it. But uh, there's no doubt in my mind he's done an unbelievable job in terms of building this culture and, and, and setting the foundation and you know we're not where we need to be yet and he'll, he'll be the first I'm sure to tell you 
but uh, he's done a great job of getting this to, getting us off on the right foot. With today being the first day that you really get to see your off uh, your outside linebackers uh, hit the field, what do you want to see out of them specifically? Well, I think the big thing is is they, they did a great job in recruiting. So they, these are guys that are talented guys, but once again, they're freshmen. I mean, uh, you, you know, you, I think the one thing I've learned and in, in been doing this for a long time, uh, you never want to get too high or too low too early. And, and uh, they, you know, they got, you know, they, their minds are going to be swimming, and the way we do things, and it's a way that uh, you know, Lock, Coach Locks is doing the same way I've always done it. Uh, you, 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 you keep throwing stuff at them, and, you know, it's going to stick, and then you go back and throw it at them again. And, and so, uh, you know, for the young guys, they'll understand it when they walk out of the meeting room, mm -hmm. but but when they get on that field and the bullets start flying, you know, you know, sometimes it's not quite as clear. You know, it's get a little uh, muddy there. But but uh, you know, I think the big thing is just they stay positive and just keep them going. But they are talented young men, and. and it's fun to watch athletic guys uh, uh, improve. I think that's why, you know, really, that's why you get into coaching is to see a young man or see a person, you know, reach his goals. To your right, Jacob. Hi, Coach. Uh, hey. Jacob Richmond for the Dime Back. Great to see you. Um, something that Coach was talking about a little bit earlier was how great programs can, are very player-driven. As someone who's been around for a couple of years, you know, you're just stepping into this role. How have you seen this program, like, take steps to become a program that is well, once again, I think that's the exciting thing I've talked about, the culture. You know, Coach Locks has changed the culture. Um, you know, I've always felt like a football team is going to follow the leader. And, and if you all know Coach Locks, and I mean, he's a competitor. He's a, you know, he's a great guy. He's got a giant heart. Uh, uh, he demands perfection, but on the same token, he understands that if you demand perfection, you're going to get a level that we're all happy with. And these guys have bought into it. And I think they, they, I, I, they've bought into it because they know he cares. He cares about them as people. Cares about their lives, and you know the football is kind of as a just a part that you know that they get to do. So, uh, but th that's the fun part is you really see the culture of this team. As I said, these guys are around all the time. You know, they're they're, they're, they're fun to talk to, and, and not only football, but you talk about their families, and because they you know they're, they're, it's kind of a melting pot. We've got guys from all over the place. And, you know, it's, it's been fun to, to, to you know watch them and you know, listen to their stories. Uh, one more quick one for you back here. You talked about those young linebackers. We do a lot of high school football coverage at our station locally, and I know you have Damian Robinson, they call him Chop from uh, Quince Orchard. How excited are you to ha have a kid like that in your program? you think you could utilize him in special teams as well? Absolutely. I, you know, it's funny, you know, I, uh, Coach Hoke and I were pretty close. Uh, we, we go back a long way from same, from Ohio, and, and one of the things that uh, when I decided that you know, I was going to come full time and, and, and jump into it with you know, both feet, uh, Coach Oak told me, he said that uh, he may be as good a potential pass rusher type guy as he's ever been around. And he's obviously coached in the league for a long time, and, uh, which, which is exciting. And, you know, the, the, as you get to know the guy, a uh, very humble guy, uh, you know, you, you, you understand this recruiting process, the pressure that he was probably under in this area. You know, this is very obviously a, a very heavily recruited area. And, I mean, he had an opportunity, could have gone anywhere he wanted to go, and you know, to, to stand firm and, and hey, this is to be a man and say, this, hey, this is what I want to do. This is what I believe is best for me. And then as you get around him, he's just such a good person. He's just, you know, I'm excited to see him play. You know, once again, you you, you know he's athletic. You know he can, he's going to play the game, but still, he's a freshman, and I think you have to remember, that you don't want to put too much pressure. You know, as I said, you don't want to get too high or too low too early. But uh, he's going to be a guy. I feel like he's got a chance to be a special guy. Coach, Coach Zook, good to see you again, Bruce Sponsor. Uh, talk about the kicking game. Uh, going into the season, you know, how's the outlook on your on the kicking game? Well, you know, we had uh, had nine guys in the room last night, and, and uh, we there's only three of them that have been there. So we got a whole new room, and, uh, and it's something that, uh, that Coach Locks uh, allowed me to, to do. And, 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 you know, I think competition is what you got to have. I mean, I think we got a chance that – you know, Joe Petrino's got a guy. I've said this all along about Joe. You know, the two years I've been here, he's, he's got he's got a really good leg. You know, now he's got to take his game to the next level. He, you know, he's got the potential to, to be as good as he wants to be. And now the mind part, like I always tell him, you know, you have have aspirations of kicking at the next level. There's only 32 of those guys in the world. So what are you going to do to make it? You know, make yourself different. And you know, so he's come in and with a great attitude. You know, we got you know, all new long snappers, uh, two new uh, a new punter. Uh, that, you know, once again, I think there's going to be some competition, and, and, and that that excites me because uh, that usually helps. You know, when, when they when they have to, you know, they get, they can feel somebody breathing down their backs, and you know, they got to, you know, it'll, it'll make every punt or every kick or every hold, every snap, uh, you know, put a little pressure on them, and, and I think that's what gets you gets you 
And you get the more competition you got as a football team, I think the better you're going to be. Hey, Coach. Uh, you have a lot of ties to the state of Florida, and Loxley, since he's been here, has really tried to open up that pipeline and now has brought in guys like Brandon Jennings, like Terrence Lewis, guy, Terrence Lewis guys who you will probably be working with. Right. Uh, how excited are you to not only coach them, but to just have that Florida connection? Well, I, that's exciting because, you know, I know a lot of the coaches. You know, it's funny. <laughs> As I started recruiting, I'm calling guys I coached. I mean, I actually coached them at the University of Florida when I was there. I mean, so it's 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 kind of you know, and, and so you know the you know the level, you know the, the you know the, the uh, landscape down there, and, and you know the good football. And obviously, what's fun is you bring the guys. This is good, very very good football here, you know, in, in the DMV area, and you put those guys together. And every once in a while, you'll get them. And I, I always start with the locker room. I'll get them going against each other. Well, where's the better football? And and it's it's good. It's good. They, they get on each other, but it's it's. Uh, there is, there is, a, there are a lot of football players in this area. There are a lot of football players there, and we're not going to get them. Any, we're not going to get them all everywhere. We couldn't take them if we, if we could. Uh, but, but it's always good to have that uh, mix. And I think the one thing that, that, that tell you, you talk about uh, a young man coming from Florida and really, really good players. And B Dub's done a great job, and and Brawley and those guys. But but they come up here, and there's something that, that they really like. And I think you know, you, obviously, you got a great academic institution, but you know, you, then you look at the, and the facilities aren't going to win a game. I, I I understand that, but but on the same token, that the feeling they get around the players, players are your best ambassadors. They're the ones who sell your football program, and and I, I think that 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 tells you right there. If you can go from, the further away you go from home, and you can get guys to come here, uh, then then there must be a good feeling around the team and around the people. And, you know, I think that just bodes well for you know the direction that this program that Coach Locks has got this program going. Okay. Really appreciate it.